Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Book Finds. I'm Sandra Bruno and today I'm going to share with you a few words of a motivational book by George Leonel. The title of the book is Mastery. George Leonard was an author, editor, reporter, and apart from all those things, he was an Aikido master. Aikido is a form of Japanese martial art. However, this book is not just about mastery in Aikido. The book is about mastery in all aspects of life. So friends, uh, let's find out what we get in this book. Mastery, according to George Leonard, is a journey, not a goal. He says, enjoy the journey rather than thinking too much about reaching your destination. You will reach your destination in time. It means that whatever you are doing right now, concentrate on that, focus on that, instead of thinking about its result or outcome. Mastery, in a very simple word, is a skill that we have learned or acquired through constant practices. Mastery is proficient. In the very beginning of the book, George Leonard classifies people into three categories on the basis of how they approach their life and their work. The first category is the category of the tabler. Tabler is a person who starts any work with a lot of energy and enthusiasm. But as time goes on, he loses uh, his interest in the subject of the work. And finally, his enthusiasm totally uh, fades away. He stops doing the work and starts something new. So that is the characteristics of a tabler. The second category is the category of, an, of the obsessive. Now, the obsessive person is very extremely goal-oriented person. He simply thinks about the result rather than the work. He works very hard. Sometimes he becomes indifferent to pain and pleasure. He becomes just like a machine. That is the characteristics of, a, of an obsessive person. And third one, the hacker. The hacker starts any work with usual enthusiasm, but when he faces some challenges or difficulty, he stops there. He stops there and he stops there forever. He doesn't get motivated to lift himself up and move forward and he remains there in the same spot forever. That is a hacker. Leonard suggests that we should have a balanced approach towards our life and our work. Next, he tells us about five keys to mastery. That is, five requirements for mastery. They are instruction, practice, surrender, intentionality, and the age. First one, instruction. If we want to attain mastery in any subjects, we must follow instructions of our teacher. We should be closely connected to them. If teachers are not available, we should consult with books. Books can give us good 
instructions for mastery. Second one, practice. Practice is the most important thing in mastery. George Leonard says that we should practice like a beginner. What he means is that when we keep doing a certain work for a long time, we feel that we have made a lot of progress, we have made a lot of development. So there may there may be a sense of complacency in us. But if we want to attain mastery, we shouldn't have that sense of complacency. We should practice like a beginner, not like a pro. Third one, surrender. Surrender to the process of learning. What it means? It means that we may have some prior knowledge about the subject which in which we want to be the master but when we approach when we means when we study that subject for mastery we should keep our knowledge aside we should surrender our prior knowledge we should start from the level zero of knowledge and expertise. The next next one is intentionality. Our intention of attaining mastery should be very clear. In this regard, we can take help of visualization. The last one, the age. Age means the the path that leads us to mastery is not always a smooth one quite often there are a lot of ups and downs in the path so if we want to attain mastery we should be prepared to accept challenges we should be prepared to take a risk so these are the requirements for mastery Thereafter, George Leonard discusses the tools of mastery. Tools are the helping aids to mastery. In this section, he discusses some uh, two or three important issues. First one is, if resolution fails, then what should we do? He says that if we really want to attain mastery in any subjects we should always remember that change is always difficult suppose we have been doing a certain work for a long time for years that will become a habit with us now if we want to change that habit for the sake of attaining mastery it will definitely be very difficult hard so we have to have patience we shouldn't be excited we should not be too uh, depressed too frustrated rather we should focus we should concentrate more on practice then he says that if we want to be a master in any subjects we should build a support system of uh, family members, relatives, friends, well wishers, so that whenever we get confused, whenever we become doubtful, whenever we become upset, share our thoughts, feelings with them and get some sort of inspiration. Finally, he says that if we want to attain mastery, we should always remember another thing that is mastery is not complete in itself mastery is just a lifelong learning process then he deals with another question how to get energy for mastery he says that if we want to attain mastery we should keep ourselves physically fit we should acknowledge our uh, we should acknowledge our shortcomings, our weaknesses, and work upon our strength. 
we should honor our darker aspects, but we shouldn't indulge with them for long. Then he says that if we want to make a want to be a master, we should have a list of priorities and we should follow that list. And finally, he says that yes, commitment. We should be committed to our goal and and uh, try to fulfill our commitment. Then he deals with another important issue like uh, developing common commonplace concern how important it is now uh, the person uh, that means we should be aware of every day-to-day -day life activities we should take delight in day-to-day -day life activities now for example a scientist who works in a, a lab most of the time when he comes back to his home to meet his family members he should not bring the lab with him he should freely mingle with the members of the family he should take delight he should be responsive to every common day-to-day activities so that is a characteristic of a master being responsive to every day-to-day -day life activities towards the end of the book george leonard throws lights on the pitfall along the way to mastery or let me say the obstacles in the way of mastery there are several obstacles the first one, the obsessive goal orientation. Obsessive goal orientation is definitely an obstacle to mastery. It means that uh, if we focus too much on the result rather than our work, our work or the performance will definitely be affected. So we won't be able to attain the true mastery. Second one, the lack of competitiveness. Competitiveness is not always bad. Competition is not always bad because competition brings best out of us. So lack of competition, competitiveness is another obstacle. The third one, third one, just the opposite. Uh, it is say over competitiveness. Over competitiveness is also harmful because then we will focus our attention on others performance rather than our own so in this way our performance will be affected the next one is poor instruction yes instructions are important but sometimes the instructions that we receive may not be suitable for us they may not be right so poor instruction is another shortcoming, another pitfall to our mastery. There are a few others like laziness, uh, injuries, drugs, and then prize and reward. This is again important. He says that if we want to attain mastery, we should we should not think about recognition, prize, or reward. We should concentrate, focus on the work work that we really love to do the work that we are passionate about it so that love and passion passion are important not the consequence not the recognition name thing etc if we think about those things we may not reach mastery then he says that inconsistency definitely inconsistency is definitely an obstacle to mastery suppose I have practiced today for hours, but next few days, I, uh, uh, next few days I stop doing anything. So that is inconsistency. With such inconsistency, we cannot expect to excel our excel my performances or excel our performances. That is definitely an obstacle. 
And finally, the idea of perfectionism. Perfectionism kills our spirit. Perfectionism uh, makes us scared. That means we we fear to start anything because there is a dream, there is a hope that whatever we will create, whatever we will do, it will be a perfect one. That is not possible. So that idea of perfectionism hampers our journey, hampers our journey towards mastery. If we are, our mind is preoccupied with that idea of perfectionism, we will never be able to attain mastery. That's what I have got in this book, Mastery. It's a good motivational book. You can read this one. You may, you may, you may get some new ideas. You may have some new experiences. So, friends, thank you for watching this video. Goodbye for now. Stay happy. Stay blessed. Love you all. Thank you.